Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Echo. Run into a little bit of a grinder last time with the addition of a new enemy type, which I have nicknamed the Juggernauts. They're big gold robots that can act of their own free will, and they insta-kill you. They take three shots from your gun to kill. They're not friendly. They're not easy to deal with. To say one nice thing about them, though, they can take out the other echoes in the palace for you because they are highly aggressive. So we're still on the level of the palace where everything is gold. And our mission continues to bring back Foster. Okay, so I can't use, I cannot use that bridge over there yet. Got to get to the other side. Seems relatively safe at the moment. But as we know in the palace, looks can definitely be deceiving. The threat ring keeps making noise. Oh, this is one of the big elevators. But I can't use it. All right. Doesn't look like I can drop down. Oh, I see a juggernaut on patrol. See another one. Oh, if these things become the new normal enemies, that's going to spell our doom quite often. How do I get over there? Oh, it's all juggernauts. Let's see if we can lure that juggernaut over and have him... Have it... Him, her... Activate the bridge for me. Because there's nothing I can really interact with, and... I'm assuming that's why there's so much... I can interact with this. I want to try out my bridge theory first. I feel like there's so much energy around because I'm just going to have to take these juggernauts out. It might be... Is it too far away on patrol to actually see me? Yeah. Alright. Looks like we're going to take the elevator. Or, wait. Wow, I am blind. I did not even notice these steps down. That's embarrassing. What level? Oh, the waypoint's moving. Oh, no. That means one of the juggernauts has what I need. Oh, that's so not good. Oh. We're going to have to be incredibly sneaky. If we're going to pull this off. Don't see me. Don't come this way. 
Like, we're gonna have to take this super slow, I think. Oh, every time I say that, every time I say that, something bad happens. Just slow and steady. If I can lure it over here... If I can somehow find a way to lure it over here, we might be safe. Because I've got energy. So I can... I can put it down. Hmm. There's a lot of possibilities. Yeah, you heard that. Come on. Come on, big boy. You know I'm over here. Over here. Got it. Oh wow, I don't think any of the other juggernauts heard that. might be able to backtrack pretty safely. Gotta get up a couple of floors to put this scepter in. It's literally directly above us, but there's no way from where we came. So we might have to cross and find a way over here. The good thing about the juggernauts is that you can see them very easily, except for that one. I just, I completely missed that one. I don't know why. Oh, I missed that one too. Like, I knew that one was there. I knew it, and I still just ignored it. Okay, I think I'm safe. I made it. Yes, we did, Ann. Yes, we did. We're a little low on energy. This is it, Ann. We're here. You're breaking up. I'm hearing you cry, but the sphere is messing with your reception. Oh no. London's having a little glitch. That's very bright. Oh, the first time we ever walked into the bright light is when the palace freaked out and started sending echoes after us. Let's hope this if big... I cut out entirely, I'd better say this now. Good luck, Ed. And be careful. Oh, London... We're all going to make it out together, London. We just got to see what this big bright light holds. Oh, 
Well, this is otherworldly. What's this now? That's like the door on my ship. This... This is my ship. It must be making it from Foster's memories to ease his return. Oh, good. Now the palace is Look just gonna... Detail. Just gonna play mind games with us. Well, that was a quick cycle. What the? Well, I'm not in my spacesuit anymore. The cube is gone. The cube. I've been going through a disappointment. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. What? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right. The foster can come back. These are my memories. Captain Say. This isn't about Foster. It's about me. You consider yourself the answer to the eternal questions of life and death. You killed him. You lost that chance. You killed him, you stupid bitch. And now you lost our chances of bringing him back. How clever is that? The palace is trying to mess with my mind. We're right back where we started. Right at the very beginning of the game. And I, I no longer have control. Foster. So that's how it is. Just like last time. Wait, what? Only one of us is getting out alive. That's all I asked for, I suppose. A chance to correct my mistake. I just didn't imagine it would be this damn difficult. Well, you said it, Gramps. Great challenges and equally great rewards. Take care, Foster. Of London as well. So it's some kind of equivalent exchange. I have to give myself so that Foster can come back. Well, that's quite the ending. Now, what's Foster going to do when he wakes up in the palace? Is the palace going to start creating echoes of him as well? Has N been turned into a cube? Hey, 
hey, I've got some new settings now. Legacy game mode. Enemies learn and unlearn over two cycles instead of one now. And ultra hard difficulty. Wow, I can't imagine what ultra hard difficulty is going to be like. Well, thank you everyone for watching Muscle Gerbil plays Echo. It was quite a ride. We had a nice little fun sci-fi adventure. We made some friends, pissed off those friends, and got them back. I really wonder what Foster's going to do now. Because he's been dead for over a century. That's it's going to be a weird time to wake up in then when you're on a strange planet in a big palace and you've been dead for a century. Well, as I said, thank you all very much for watching Muscle Gerbil Plays Echo. I hope you enjoyed this series, and don't worry, there are more coming up. So stay tuned to the channel, and I'll see you next time.